What I'm about to show you is going to completely change the way WordPress websites are built. In this video, we'll type a one sentence description of our business into this AI tool, click one button, and then generate a fully optimized WordPress website, complete with multiple pages, professional content, and a mobile design, all in under five minutes. Now, I've tested a lot of AI website builders for WordPress, and honestly, most were disappointing. But this one actually works. It creates professional SEO optimized sites that are ready to attract real customers. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process step-by-step, step, setting up a brand new WordPress website using this exact method. And I'll make sure not to skip any steps so you can easily follow along and set up your WordPress website in just a few minutes. Navigate to Hostinger using the link on screen or in the description below. You'll get an extra 10% discount on top of any deals by using our link. Click Claim Deal and choose whichever plan works best for you. You can register with Google or use an email and password. Enter your billing details and complete the payment. Once your payment goes through, Hostinger will walk us through setting up WordPress. When the onboarding survey appears, select who you're building this for, then click Next. Choose Create a Website, and when asked how you want to build it, select WordPress. Set your WordPress admin email and create a password. Then click Next. When prompted to choose a pre-built site, click Create Blank Site at the bottom of the screen. We'll let AI build everything for us in just a minute. Now it's time to claim your domain name. Search for whatever domain you want, and if it's available, select it and click Next. Follow the prompts to register your domain. Then choose the server location closest to your visitors. WordPress will now install automatically. This can take a few minutes. All right, WordPress is installed and we're in the admin panel. Now, before we use AI to build our site, we need to install a theme. A theme controls how your site looks. We're using Astra because it's modern, lightweight, and works perfectly with our AI builder. On the left side, hover over Appearance and click Themes. At the top, click Add Theme. Then search for Astra in the top right search bar. When it appears, click Install, then Activate. You'll get a confirmation message. Just close that out. Next, Hostinger installs default plugins that can interfere with our AI builder, so let's remove them. Click Plugins on the left side. Select the checkbox at the top left, choose Deactivate from the Bulk Actions dropdown, and click Apply. Then select the checkbox again, choose Delete, click Apply, and Confirm. Now for the fun part. We're going to use an AI tool called ZipWP to build our entire website automatically. But first we need to create a free account. Use the link in the description to navigate to ZipWP's website. Click Get Started in the upper right, scroll to the bottom, and under the free plan, click Get Started. You can sign up with Google or email. I'll use email. Verify your email and you might see an onboarding flow. Just skip through it. Once you're signed up, Close that tab and head back to your WordPress dashboard. Now we need to install starter templates. This plugin gives us access to ZipWP's AI Builder right inside WordPress. Click Add Plugin, search for Starter Templates, then click Install Now. And when the button changes, click Activate. The plugin will launch the AI Builder where we'll tell it what to build. Select Build with AI. Type your site name, select your business category, and update the language if needed. Now, describe your site in detail. The more specific you are, the better your site will be. For example, type who you are, what you do, where you're located, and who you serve. Then click Improve Using AI to have the AI refine your prompt. Review the new prompt, edit if you want to, then click Next. Enter the contact info and add social media profiles you want to appear on the website. Next, select some images for your site. Choose at least 10 images you like from the stock photo options or upload your own. Then click Next. At the top, change the dropdown from Block Editor to Elementor. This gives you a user-friendly drag and drop builder. Next, the AI generates some design previews. Select one you like and avoid the premium options if you want to keep it free. Upload a logo if you have one, but if not, I'll show you how to add one later. Pick a font pair and color palette that matches your brand, then click Continue. Check which features you want for your site. I recommend keeping SEO enabled. Then click Start Building. Now we need to connect our ZipWP account. Click here to log in, click Get Started next to the free plan, then 
start building, and confirm the credit usage. ZipWP is now building your entire website. This takes a few minutes. All right, the AI has finished building your website. Let's check out what it created. When you get the confirmation message, click See Your Website. This opens your new site in a new tab. Scroll through and check out what the AI built for you. The AI has written all the copy, selected and placed images, created multiple pages, and even set up things like contact forms and blog pages. It's a fully functional website right out of the gate. The site looks great, but now we need to personalize it and make it truly yours. To do that, we'll use Elementor, the page builder we selected earlier. Go up to the top bar and click Edit with Elementor. Welcome to Elementor. This is where the magic happens. Everything you see here is exactly what your visitors will see, and you can edit it all visually. Let me show you how it works. First, you'll notice the structure panel floating on the right side. This shows us how our page is built. Pages in Elementor are made of two main building blocks, containers and elements. Containers are the big sections that hold everything, and elements are the individual pieces inside, like text, buttons, and images. Click on the first container in the structure panel. See how the whole section highlights in pink? That's your container. Now click the drop down arrow next to it. This shows what's inside. In this case, an image box and a button. Click on each one and watch them highlight individually. On the right side of each item in the structure panel, there's an eye icon. This lets you hide or show elements without deleting them. Let's close the structure panel by clicking the X. You can always bring it back later by pressing Command I on Mac or Control I on Windows. Now let me show you how to add new sections to your page. Scroll down to the next container. When you hover over it, you'll see a pink edit tab appear at the top. See those six dots? You can click and drag them to move the entire container to a different spot on the page. The plus button adds a new container. Click it and you'll see layout options appear. Now we have a blank container ready for content. You can delete a container by clicking the X in the pink edit tab. Now let's talk about editing the current contents of your page. It's incredibly intuitive. To edit any text, simply click on it and start typing, just like a word processor. You can change text styles by clicking the style tab in the left panel. For buttons, click the button you want to edit and then update the text in the left panel and use the link section to change where it goes. Just type a page name for internal links or paste a full URL for external ones. Next, let's add a new element to the page. To add elements, click the plus button in the top left to open the element library. Find the element you want, let's say text, and click and drag it into your container. You can rearrange any element by clicking and dragging it to a new spot. And if you make a mistake, just hit Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows to undo. If you want to delete something, right click on it and select Delete. Now let's update the images. To change an image, click on it, hover over the image preview in the left panel, and click Choose Image. You can upload from your computer, use the media library, or search for stock images. And that's the basics of Elementor. You now know how to navigate the structure, add containers and elements, rearrange your page, and edit all your content. Now, what if you need to add a completely new page to your site? Maybe a products page or a services page? Elementor makes this super easy. Click the page dropdown at the top and select Add New Page, and then save your current work if prompted. Click the page and gear icon in the top left to open page settings and give your page a title. I'll call mine Products. Now you could build this page from scratch, but there's a faster way. We can use starter templates again to access pre-built page templates that you can import and customize. The colors and fonts will automatically match your existing site theme. Click the S icon in an empty container to open the template library. Browse through the designs and open one you like. When you find a page layout that works, click Import Template. The template pulls in with your site's design already applied. Now just customize the text, buttons, and images to fit your needs. For example, I'll update the header text. When you're happy with how your page looks, click Publish in the top right to make the page live. Let's preview how this looks on the live site to make sure everything looks good. Click the eye icon in the top right to preview the page in a new tab. It looks great, but you might notice an extra page title appears at the very top left, and it doesn't quite match the clean look of our template. Let's hide that. In the top toolbar, click Edit Page. Not Edit with Elementor, just Edit Page. This opens the WordPress block editor. Click on the page title at the top, and then click the eye icon next to it to hide it. 
Click Save in the top right, then click the little square with an arrow to view the live page again. Perfect, now the hero image extends all the way to the top and that page title is gone. Your new page is live, but visitors won't be able to find it yet because it's not in your navigation menu. Let's fix that. Click Customize in the top left. Go to Menus, then Main Menu. Click Add Items and select your new page from the list. You can reorder your menu items by clicking Reorder and using the arrows or simply drag them to a new position. Arrange your menu however you like, then click Publish. While we're here in the customizer, let me show you how to update your site's header and footer. This is where you'll add your logo and adjust your site's branding. Back out to the main customization menu and click Header. Click Site Title and Logo, then select Logo. Upload your logo file. Be sure to give it a title and alt text for accessibility. If your logo is showing next to your site title, you can hide the text to let the logo stand alone. Under Site Title Visibility, uncheck the Desktop, Tablet, and Mobile icons. Adjust the Logo Width slider to set your logo to your preferred size. Now let's quickly update the footer. Back out to the main menu and click Footer. You can drag elements around within the footer or add new ones by clicking the plus button. When you're happy with how everything looks, click Publish. Then click the X to exit the customizer. And there you go, a complete professional WordPress website built with AI in just a few minutes. You've got a fully functional site with multiple pages and you know how to customize everything using Elementor. If you haven't signed up yet, make sure to use the links in the description to get your 10% discount on Hostinger and free access to ZipWP. Drop any questions in the comments below, and thanks for watching.